It's like if I get pulled over for any reason at all, or some reason there's some type of traffic stop where they want to check your license and registration, as a black man, I am terrified because who knows what could happen. We've seen countless times that people getting pulled over at a traffic stop just want to ask the reason why they're getting pulled over and then a gun is put to their head. Play Being Black in America, take one. So I really don't know where to start in this video because the topic of being black in America is such a complex thing. There's so many layers to what that means. But I'm going to talk from my perspective and kind of give you my idea of what being black in America means to me. So I've always struggled with the idea of being black and not saying that meaning I don't want to be black. That's not what I'm saying at all. It's more so finding my place in a world that wasn't made for me. As everything goes on right now in the world with the death of George Floyd and everyone who's come after him, unfortunately, I feel lost. I feel hurt. I feel confused. I feel angry, which then that anger turns to sadness within a few minutes because I don't know what to do next. I don't know how to move forward. And the idea of racism never truly affected me until now. And that goes to where I grew up and how I was raised in the culture I was surrounded on because I always knew that racism was a thing, but I never saw racism when it was right in front of me. And I never truly realized the impact that it's had on this country, the impact it has on others' lives, and the impact that it has on my life. Before I said that, I never saw the racism in front of me, and it's because of where I grew up. I grew up in this small town, bubble of a town, bubble of the world, and there wasn't many black people around me. And my earliest, I guess, recollection of racism was in kindergarten. Before I even started kindergarten, I was had to do like the placement test just to kind of see where you are compared to other students coming in to see if you're ready for kindergarten. And I remember my mom telling me that my teacher, or who was going to be my teacher, at first glance thought I wasn't smart enough to be in kindergarten and have to wait another year. And I assume that it's because of the color of my skin. And then I had to prove her wrong because I tested amazingly. I knew my ABCs, I knew how to read, I knew how to write. But she would have known that because the first thing she saw was that I was black. I remember having friends ask me if it's okay to say the N word, both the slang way and also with the hard R and me being so unknowingly not knowing what that word meant and the weight that it held into the history of you know being black. I didn't really give an answer. I didn't tell them no because I didn't know and I didn't bring it up to my mom because I didn't think it was a, a big deal. And then there was the fact that during this time of my childhood I was Muslim and it was something that everyone knew and something that people used against me. For example, calling me a terrorist and using all of that language uh, towards me as a joke, um, people pulling off my goofy during the national anthem because I was the only person that didn't take off their hat during it. And they knew why. They knew why I didn't. And they took it off anyway just to make people laugh. Those are just some of the few examples of what I remember. And again, being the small bubble in a town and me trying to fit in this culture and this world that wasn't made for me, I did not realize that that was racism and it wasn't something like it wasn't like any of those people were racist you know probably some of them were <laughs> but in this country it's this country is just built on racism um I actually watched the Logan Paul video and one thing he said is that America is racist and I agree America is racist I'm not going to go into the history of the racism in this country because unfortunately I don't know it all the history books take black history and take bits and pieces of it to craft its own narrative rather than the truth of the situation that it was. There's events that happen that people don't even know about and people won't know about unless they research it themselves and try to educate themselves on black history. So I'm not going to go on into that because it's something I need to do myself. But I can say that the laws, the way, you know, this country has been built, the opportunities that are mainly given to those who are white that people who are black don't have as soon as they come out the womb it's not fair this country this country was not built for me 
it was not built for people of my skin because the people of my skin color were brought here to serve. We weren't brought here to flourish. We weren't brought here to, to strive. We were brought here to serve. And the laws that were built around, around that, even though there have been changes and acts and, and laws, there's always some type of loophole in there that still keeps us down. And right now with everything going on in the world and every day seeing another black person die because of the color of their skin, it's a lot of weight to carry at the moment. And every day I realize more and more the problems in this country and how they affect me. As a black man and as someone who goes out every day for work for DoorDash, you guys don't know what that is, it's a delivery service. I get scared every time I see a cop turn the corner and it's not like I'm doing anything wrong, I'm not speeding, I'm not doing anything. But if it's like if I get pulled over for any reason at all or some reason there's some type of traffic stop where they want to check your license and registration, as a black man, I am terrified because who knows what could happen. We've seen countless times that people are getting pulled over at a traffic stop just want to ask the reason why they're getting pulled over and then a gun is put to their head. We've seen time and time again that after that gun is put to their head, they're told to get out of their car and get slammed against the hood of their car with a gun in their head saying, move or I'll shoot you. We see time and time again of black men getting taken to the ground, being told they can't breathe and cops not caring, keeping the weight of their body on their necks and killing them in the end. That's what I face right now and it terrifies me. <sighs> Fuck, man. It terrifies me because when I see these things, now I think that I can be next. I think my mom can be next. I think my fiance can be next. I think, I think any of my friends who are black could be next. And I don't want to go on Twitter and see justice for them because they're killed because they're black. I just want change. I want to feel safe. I want to feel like that. I won't lose my life because I'm black. You know, I, I, I just want to feel safe in this fucking country. And right now, I don't. And right now, a lot of others don't. And that's not right. And that's why I'm making this video. Because I need someone to hear my fears, to hear our fears, and want to join in and to make a change for black lives. And I know that change, what needs to happen, what, how to break down systemic racism is a long process that's going to take years and years and years to do. But I also know the only way we're going to get to that end goal, no matter how long it takes, is if we step up right now and use our voices, use our platforms to spread this message. And that message is that Black Lives Matter. And you might hear that and think all lives matter, which they do. All lives do matter. But right now it's black lives who are in the fight for our lives. And we need your help. We need you to stand up. We need you to listen. We need you to speak your voice. We need you to educate. And myself, I need to do the same. I need to speak up. I need to educate myself and I need to listen. And I'm gonna do that and I'm gonna hold myself accountable, but I wanna hold you accountable too because we need everyone in on this to make this change.